Hi, I'm the guy you woofed at at Scruff, but the girl who blocked you on Instagram, Trixie Mattel. And I am Lady Gaga's sassy and defiant elbow, Edward Hansen. And welcome to Hashtag After Show. And today, we are recapping the finale episode of American Horror Story Hotel. Before we get into the show, what happened to the Golden Globes? Lady Gaga fucking won! Yay! For American Horror Story Hotel! Excuse me, okay. I'm Lady Gaga, okay. okay. I'm gonna be Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Titanic was so fun to film. But you know what, Kate Winslet's not that... Then that was it. That was it. That was all of it. Yeah, he like mean mugged the shit out of her. It was so good. He's lucky she didn't. He didn't get one of these. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. It's, it's over. It's over. Can you just kill me in the Cortez already? Like I don't want it to be over. This episode more than any made it sound like being dead in the Cortez is like the party you want to be invited Honey, to. Honey, that's life. I'm gonna be like decaying in like my grandma's front yard in <laughs> Northeast Wisconsin, and Lady Gaga still gonna be partying at the Cortez. This episode finally put so many beautiful bows and ribbons on so many great things. Also, did not put bows and ribbons on a lot of things as well. <laughs> like there were also a lot of things that didn't get bows or ribbons. Thank you, American Horror Story, by the way, for taking us on this ride this season. We talk a lot of shit, but we fucking love every second of this show. I cried three times during this show, and I'm a cold, heartless bitch. We're gonna talk about the five most important moments of the finale episode. And the first point is, Liz and Kathy Bates are trying to create a beautiful new life for their beautiful little hotel Cortez. Yes. They wanna get better reviews on like Yelp and stuff so that they can have a future for the hotel. So they have two hotel reviewers come, who are like, look at the, by the way, that hotel room was beautiful. Oh my God, there was a Toto toilet. Okay, someone chic, someone knows what's up. So these reviewers who, by the way, don't think I didn't see you, lady from Meet the Fockers, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, and Legally Blonde, I don't know your name, I just- And know. Naomi from Waiting, the bitch waitress. She's but, also the girl who's in love, the lesbian who's in love with Marsha in the Brady Bunch <gasps> Remember? Oh my God, yes! Totally. Yes! And she's all like, I'll just lay here next to you, Marsha. It won't be so bad. Whoever she is, that actress, I feel like she has an identity crisis because everyone knows her, but I don't think anyone knows her name. I d and she's also brilliant. She's brilliant, And yeah. I just, yeah. But so that leads us to, they're checking out the beautifully redesigned room, redecorated. They see a Toto toilet. And then Sally is like, makes you want to take a dope. Like shooting up in their bed. Literally, just like, just her getting the heroin just the right time so she can stick it in she, her dead body. She's disgusting and she's like, yeah, this, you like this bed? A lot of piss and blood and shit in it. Like she's just disgusting. Which is like probably true to life for a lot of hotel rooms, but at the same time. You know, time, there's guys on like male networking apps. If you told them your bed had piss and shit and blood in it, they'd be at your house pretty quick. She sticks a hot dose in that annoying TripAdvisor guy. She puts her hot load in him. A big hot load in yeah. him, yeah. The other TripAdvisor girl runs down the hall and is like, Will Drake, thank God it's your hotel. He's like, sorry I'm new at killing. Bam! I know. They have to have a meeting because they're not gonna have a future for this hotel if they just kill everyone who walks into it. Which brings us to point number four. Liz and Kathy Bates have to sit down with the ghost and say, you fuckers can't kill everyone. We're over your dead ass shit. Or at least let them rate the hotel and then go kill them. We know that 2026 is the benchmark because at 2026, the Hotel Cortez will become a historical landmark. And right. then they know that their home is safe. And everybody's on board because everyone's like, all right, except That's a good Will point. Drake and Hypodermic Sally are like, we like killing people. And Sally's like, I'm lonely. I'm not gonna stop until I get like my lover here. James Hack March is like, uh, I don't think so, honey, because unless you wanna see Potsticker Man, and I know you don't wanna see Potsticker Man again, you're gonna shut your mouth and you're not gonna kill a damn person. Which apparently Potsticker Man has been controlled by James Patrick March this whole time. I just know that whatever that weird cone cone shaped dildo penis is that it just doesn't look fun. And I don't want, and life should be about fun. You well, know? good so. news, we don't get to know anything more about it because we've watched all 12 episodes and nothing was explained about it. So we don't know cool. who he is, we don't know where he came from. I just know that James Patrick March will low pro threaten people with you. Oh, our next point, Sally's kind of like, I like killing people because my life sucks. I'm gonna sit in my room and smoke and cry, or I'm gonna walk the halls and smoke and cry. Yeah. Kathy's like, but what about this? Yes, and Here's then, a phone, the whole world is your oyster, bitch. Base. Turns out, she doesn't need drugs or men. All she's ever wanted was to be an angsty teenager on Twitter. I love so much the message of this too, that like, literally, if you're a lonely, desperate hag, <laughs> sit up in a hotel room. I've, I've been that lonely, desperate hag on my phone. I am, for all desperate hags, I am you and I celebrate you. I'm telling you the internet has saved my life. I just love that the message is, if you're lonely and you're sad and your life is terrible, become a blogger. The first notification she got was from Iris. 
Yes. <laughs> Kathy Bates' Twitter. Also, we were living for her for her Twitter handle, which was girl. Sally That Girl. Sally That Girl, which I looked up, and there is an actual girl named Sally That Girl who's not hypodermic well, Sally. Well, you know, there's two types of girls. There's an it girl, and then there's that girl. You yeah. Know, I'm more that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's kind of unbelievable, though, because it's like Sally was like, you know what's more fun than drugs <laughs> and smoking and killing people? Twitter. Tricks, I'm not tricks. sure if that's the same like heightened experience tricks. of killing a person. You always talk about how the core like theme of the season is addiction, and what's more addictive than the internet, girl? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Sally, I will see you on social media, but I'll not come to your hotel because yeah. I'm scared of that wax guy. I want to see Sally's ice bucket challenge, and then have her hair go flat. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see her like needle in hand with tears like this is the cinnamon challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I tag Iris and Barack Obama. The next point is Liz Taylor is stepping her ghost pussy up. This is my favorite Liz's thing. Liz's ghost pussy. Liz has rehabilitated this hotel. Yes. She has given some security and life to the Will Drake empire. Right. And now she's kind of like I'm going to die because I have cancer. Right. And so I accept that everyone Wait, here is my family. There's a few milestones of Liz that we okay. should talk about before the cancer. Will Drake and Liz decide that it would be best for the Will Drake empire if Liz takes over. So she straight up Alexis Carrington goes up into the boardroom and is like, hi bitches, I'm in charge now. It was very mommy dearest when her husband was like, I know you think my husband used to run this company. But uh, tricks that bug is right there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is it touching me? <laughs> Wait, <I'm fine> <laughs> Wait, it like went right under your head. I wish I was dead. I wish I was dead. I wish I was dead. I can't breathe. Ah! Is it on me? Wait, no. Okay, should we just do it? Is it on me? Is it on me? Is it on me? There it is. Here, here, here. Oh, God. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. So Liz walks into that boardroom and breathes new life into the Will Drake You were saying empire. it reminded you of Mommy Dearest when she was like, don't fuck with me, fellas. Yeah, it was very that. And she was like, oh, you're fired. And then that does take us to a beautiful moment with Liz and her son, her hot suburban Ohio-ass son. Who he is hot. And then they have the baby. Oh. And the baby, so conventional. And then um, when Liz is like, this baby was born into a world more accepting than that one I was born into, and it makes me feel good that I was a part of making the world more accepting. That is like the truth. That, that is part of like, that's like respecting your gay elders because they created the world you live in now. Exactly. It's the truth. I respect my gay elders. How old are you? I am 22. Fashion they show. then have yes. a Will Drake fashion show featuring all the ghosts and the dead people in this hotel, and no one knows because there's no cameras allowed, Right. no photographs. I was living. Hypodermic Sally was getting her fashion on. I know. I love that right when they showed her, they said unconventional models because she's just like <laughs> just crying, smoking, like bleh. Right, yeah. Amazing Angela Bassett. Ramona Royale. Burns the runway with that. Shuts it the fuck down. And then they show Liz and she's the only one not rejoicing because she's like, I met Tristan at an event like this. Yeah. We get to meet another incarnation of Sarah Paulson in American Horror Story. We get to meet Billy Dean Howard. Billy Dean Howard, who when they first said, she can help you connect to these spirits, and it was blonde Sarah Paulson with waved hair. I thought it was the Supreme, and I screamed, you is that the Supreme? You did. Her hair was gorgeous. Right. Number two, her manicure was fucking beautiful. That like peach pastel right. gel nail kind of, ooh, it was so pretty. Right. She's like, mm, ghost. Like her nails were just like, Yeah, she's like, I have a white light emanating from me. And I was like, well, it's not because of that floral dress, but oh, that's fine. I know. Sarah Paulson's new character, Billy Dean, is a medium who's there to help Liz Taylor get in touch with Tristan. Talks to Tristan, and Tristan's like, I don't want to talk to her. It was so shady. I was that like, was oh, sad. damn. Like, I thought it was that Tristan was going to do the thing. Like, turns out I'm straight, and I was just experimenting with you. I thought that that was gonna happen. Right, and then my first tear of the night happened because, uh, well, who does get in touch? Donovan, and he was like, Mom, it's like your blueberry this, pancakes. This feels like pancakes. And I love pancakes, Ooh. and like that, and if heaven is like pancakes, then I'm fucking down. It gave uh, Kathy Bates like resolution with Yeah, son. like I, it gave her, yeah, closure. It was too cute. But then Liz is like, you know what? I'm ready to go, because I have cancer, we find out. We, then and we I find out. And you guys, the hotel is my home. The ghosts are my family. I want to be with you guys forever. Right. So she gives everyone a weapon. Take two because they're small. That was funny. And then she lays down. And she's just like, just kill me. Which, by the way, I love everyone. I love you guys. If you're gonna kill me, I want something painless. I'm not gonna hand you like, here's a meat cleaver and some scissors. Because Lady Gaga comes in and she's like, wait, I gave you like 
life once by giving you this new character in life, right. you know, and I'm gonna do it again one last time. That, lots of tears, lots. It was beautiful, it was cinematic. It was if anyone beautiful. is gonna kill you, it needs to be Lady Gaga. She's smoking a cigarette. Her standing over her own dead body like, looking at it smoking, that was fierce. And she's yeah. looking beautiful. Cause you just wanna see if you look snatched when you're dead. Then you hear the voice, those things will kill you. It's Tristan. It was Tristan and he looked pale, translucent, and absolutely drop-dead gorgeous and beautiful. And she's like, why didn't you talk to me? And he's like, well, it's because you had more life to live and I couldn't get in the way of that. Oh. I mean, talk about a good afterlife, getting to sleep with Tristan every day. I can't imagine But here's the real tea. If I was Tristan and my like lover was just continuously aging, I'd try to ice that bitch as fast as I could because I would want my lover like preserved. Cut to some years later, and Billy Dean is bringing too much attention to this hotel. Too many episodes of the show are going on here, and they're like, this needs to come to a I stop. I know, it's like, what are you, the Art Deco psychic? You have to like take over and exploit it? Completely. I'm talking to you, Therese Caputo, just kidding. I love Therese Caputo. <laughs> so then she wants to talk to the detective, or she wants to talk to the dead Detective John, who is the Ten Commandments killer, or perceived to be the Ten Commandments killer. Yes. De it's Devil's Night? Devil's Night. It's the Devil's Night many years later, yeah. and Billy Dean is back because she wants to talk to Detective, detective John. Body. So he's like, hey, I'm here. You want to see a party? Get rid of these cameras and I'll show you a party. And she's like, ooh. Yeah, if a dead serial killer is telling you to follow him, I probably wouldn't, but no, that's Maybe just I'm me. a wimp, maybe I'm old fashioned. Yeah. If someone even has a Forrest Whitaker eye, I'm like weary. You know what <laughs> I mean? Anything to horror movie spooky, if you have the wrong piercing, I'm like, err. Unless you're Hispanic, I'll go home with you anytime. <laughs> any reason. Which, what are you doing later? Ooh. ooh. So then she goes in and she's at that party we saw in like episode four, the Devil's Night Party where it's all the most famous notorious serial killers. They're all, a bit, it's like Richard Ramirez, John McGacy, they're all like, yo, what up girl? And they're just creeping around her and they make her drink the absinthe, of course. Yeah, yeah. P.S. I'm from Milwaukee and they do viewing parties for American Horror Story in Milwaukee. And some of them are at bars that, uh, that Jeffrey Dahmer used to cruise and pick up guys oh in. Oh my God. The bar that I, my like home bar in Milwaukee, this is it. They were watching the episode that we critiqued and they're watching it and they're in the bar where he used to pick up guys watching a Jeffrey Dahmer pick, like drill a guy. And they said it was like the most awkward, like should we, should we change the channel? You know what I mean? Billy Dean's like, I'm Billy not Dean scared because I'm protected by white light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And he's like, drink this absinthe, honey. It's gonna go away real quick. Right, I wouldn't step one in that hotel ever yep. because I'd be too scared. And she's like, I'm cool guys, I have white light. They all gang up on her. Yeah, and they're like, we will kill you. And your other option is you leave here, you stop telling stories, and you never Keep speak about us again. Keep the Cortez out your fucking mouth. Keep the name Cortez out your damn mouth now. And I love that she's, she's like, like, what are you gonna fucking do about yeah. it? You can't fucking leave this hotel. I love that she's like. She gets so snack. She, you know what she was? She was that little blonde bitch from Little House on the Prairie for a second, like Nelly. She was like, meh, like snotty. Well, I love that she's like b being drugged with absinthe, surrounded by dead serial killers, um, on the verge of being murdered, and, and finds a way to be like slightly cunty about it. was it. very Hollywood. Yeah, it was yeah. very like, oh, well, are you gonna make me? It's and, like, I And then Ramona Rouse like, Oh, oh, pops I'm a up vampire. in there. Yeah, mama pops up in there and she's like, yeah, bitch, but I'm still alive. And I will come eat you for the fun of it. Detective John is like, good, we've secured the future of the Cortez. Jimmy Dean Sausages is never coming back. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and so he goes back to his room and he's got his beautiful wife and son. Right. And then Scarlet is grown Cancel your is Amber up. Alerts, girl, because Scarlet's okay. She's okay. She's grown up, she's beautiful, she's like long wavy hair. And I think she's actually a sweetheart for coming on her own time to visit her dad and mom who basically abandoned her and are slash dead vampires. Yeah. And it all comes full circle because we see, in my opinion, the most breathtaking Gaga look of the season. It was. It. It. I think I had like a heart murmur over it. Um, She's in this blue number with like stones and a cape, and it's got these crisscross bandeaus that barely cover her boob, and she's got that beautiful rolled hair, the silver platinum diamond glove. That like amazing 1940s music is playing. I had. A, I like gasped. I mean, like it did it for me. She's, it made me think of that horror movie, um, Urban Legend, when at the end okay. the, the, she's like. I was there, and I'll tell you exactly how it happened. It uh, was Rebecca Gayhart. Rebecca as the Gayhart, killer. yeah. It was very that. Oh, and I like that when was... that guy's like, this place is haunted, and she goes, mm. yeah. Like, tell and... me more, even though she's clearly a ghost slash vampire. And she's dressed like the most <laughs> costumed right. Jack the Ripper claw right. psychopath. Jack and she's like, Claws. haunted? What do you mean? 
<laughs> like, yeah. And then she strokes his jaw, and she's like, you have a jawline for days. Okay. And then it was that blackout. Rested. End of season. I mean, and thematically, what did I say? I said, everyone will be dead. I said, addiction, it's the theme. It'll claim everyone. Everyone right. will be dead. Is a nod to how addiction is a cycle and it repeats itself. I exactly. thought, thematically, this is a very sound season. However, yes. you never told us about the pot sticker man, and you never told us about Gaga's baby, who may or may not be a panini. Those I are... want Ryan Murphy here, and I want answers. Oh. Comments below. What do you guys think the next season of American Horror Story is gonna be about? I think it's gonna be American Horror Story coven like a prequel. Yes. I think it's gonna be a prequel right. to another season. Or I think it's gonna be something never before explored. Like they've never really done like werewolves or they've never really done. I think it's gonna be another like throwback monster. Thank they've you. never done a future. They've never done an American, they've done American Horror Stories in the present and in the past. They've right. never done one in the future. Our horror hunk of the week, in my opinion, is that beautiful lumberjack gay guy who got some play again. Remember him? Yes, I remember him. That's your that's your hunk of horror? Yes! Oh my God. Well, excuse me for living and breathing everything that was Tristan, but my hunk of horror is clearly oh, Tristan. Yeah. He was beautiful and translucent. I know you hate that weird colored mullet that he had with, you know, I know you hate that. I still think those cheekbones, honey, I he's, could I mean, lay in those hot. cheekbones forever. He is. He's beautiful. It was nice to see him again. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. And when I saw him again as Tristan and not as... Valentino. Valentino, I was kind of like, you know, Tristan maybe was the hotter version. The most gaga moment of this episode for me was when she was in that blue look with the silver glove and she watched that guy cross the bar and then just dropped her cigarette in her martini glass. The most gaga moment for me was when she stared at Liz Taylor and she was like, out of all my creatures, you were my favorite favorite one or whatever. And I was like, it was just so regal, condescending, but also amazing and beautiful. And I just loved it. Don't forget to post your predictions of what you think American Horror Story the next season is gonna be about. I would love to hear your ideas because I actually don't know. Thank you all for tuning in to Hashtag After Show. We've done 12 episodes. Thank you so much for being my co-pilot. Oh, thank um. you. Um, Trixie, take the wheel. Uh, look, you guys, you guys are fucking phenomenal. I love your comments. Um, even the hatery dark ones. And I just want to say that you guys are all beautiful, vibrant things. And may you, you know, continue on as the Countess lives on, so. If you guys have any friends who are catching up in this season, remind them that they can catch up with us, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents.